Hey everybody, the one Florida fan collector back with another video and today what you're looking at here is a 52 inch Casablanca Venus ceiling fan in the rather rare glossy black finish. I got this fan from my family members um, as a Christmas gift and yeah, it was a rather big surprise because I didn't expect them to buy that and I expected myself to buy it too. I expected myself to buy it first but Apparently, when I was waking up one morning, got up at eBay, I was like, why is this fan gone? Why is it sold? And apparently my parents bought it for me as a Christmas gift. And like, what a little surprise, basically. This fan dates from May 17th of 1991, was the 769th fan made that day. Uh, this fan was bought in November, actually, as I remember, by my parents as a little gift, as you know. But It also came with the original owner's instruction manual, which the installation manual that comes with this fan. is right here in my hands. For the Venus series. And this fan is a big pain to install by far, by a landslide. This fan was designed by Jean Clyde Mason who passed away on August 20th, 20th of 2022. And yes, this is one of those contemporary fans I really, really liked from her. So yeah, let's go ahead, start this fan off in demo mode. And also this fan came with the recall clip and recall clip instructions too as well when I got this fan. So don't worry about this fan, it's on a recall clip, so. It's not going to fall. It's going to be safe as long as it's on the clip. And this fan is currently installed in my former bedroom, which is now my fan storage room. Very cool fan, I should say. And the beeps on this board is quite loud, I will say. Pretty loud. And I will, this fan's not permanent to this room because I will be taking this fan down and putting back up 91930's original in here. And the rather rare Hunter Green finish because I really do like that fan. But I would love to find some place for this fan too as well since it is my mom's favorite fan by far. And she's the one to pick this kind of style for her taste. All right, that's it with the demo mode on this fan. Let's go to general settings. Start with the light kit. I really love the green glass on this fan because that's not something you see every day on a ceiling fan. And let's go to speed number one. The Venus series is one of my favorite Casablanca models by far because it's very sought after and I really do like the design but of this fan on this fan but however this fan is a total pain to install by far. If you ever had the displeasure putting one of these together you're gonna hate your life let's just put it that way. But will I say, if I was going to compare this to installing a halogen star light kit, ah, they're both on the same level for that, <laughs> in that sense of being a pain. But probably one will probably be slightly worse, not by a lot, but definitely I give that to the halogen star for the light kit being really, really heavy. 
and such. So, but this fan is definitely one of those fans that has been the most painful one to install. Speed two. This fan is quite a childhood fan because I remember seeing an airport having a Venus, but unfortunately that got removed and replaced by a Minka Air Wave. But, you know, it's very unfortunate, but I do, I'm glad to own one now. Speed three. This is the speed I like to keep this fan on because this fan's got a really heavy blade hub. So, which, of course, I gotta be very careful for the flywheel on this fan because they don't make this flywheel anymore either for this model. And then plus, these, fa these fans are known to have a big heavy blade hub, which, of course, the flywheel would warp more easy than the others. Um, speed four, I believe this. Yeah, speed four. This is like the medium speed. I like to keep it there. This fan came with the twelve-inch down rod, which is not shown because it would be it would drop the fan way too low in that sense. And plus, I wanted to have enough clearance, but it still moves a lot of air even on the ceiling in here, even though the blades are a little bit higher than normal. Five. Now we're starting to get some air movement going in here really well. And I don't like turning this fan up on the super high speeds because I do like to watch this fan on the slower speeds because it's kind of mes it's kind of satisfying to watch because it's really cool to see. It's like the Venus in the sky basically kind of coolness to it. Ethyl power. Even on this high speed, it moves a lot of air for this room. And I can literally fill it out the door. And this is this is what you call good air movement right here for a fan. And the blades are a little bit warped, but it still moves a lot of air, even though the blades are warped. And yeah, it's a beautiful fan. And I will go ahead and show the airflow on this fan. And yeah, she does move a lot of air for this room. Now I'm going to reverse the fan. And this fan's under W11 IntelliTouch wall control, which is the older version of the IntelliTouch. And I still really love this fan, but I would just love to find some other place for it, but it's just not particularly going to stay in this room because I do want a stronger breeze in here but it still moves a lot of air in here don't get me wrong but I really like the breeze to be over the top powerful in here because it gets really really hot in this room I mean this room got up to 99 degrees last summer so I really want to have a strong fan in here so definitely want to put that up that 1930s original back up in here all right I'll shut the fan off. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it with this Casablanca Venus ceiling fan that's installed in my former bedroom, also now known as the fan storage room, which is where I store a lot of my goodies in here. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.